Hey, it's Professor Davis back, and we're talking about computing the linear regression line equation with the Casio FX300ES calculator. Now, the calculator can't do a graph like this, but it can find the uh, y-intercept and the slope of a linear regression line given ordered data, given bivariate data. So our goal is to have a, you know, if we are given a graph like this, a scatter plot of points, and here they are, we want to be able to draw the line of best fit for it and the slope and the y-intercept can be determined by the uh, scientific calculator the Casio FX300ES. So let's see how we do that. We'll do it by example. Toxic shock syndrome is a potentially fatal illness caused by a bacterial toxin. Different bacterial toxins may cause uh, TSS depending on the situation. Uh, the situation usually recovers in two to three weeks with proper treatment and here is a set of data for the number of cases of TSS in uh, years where data was recorded from 1990 up to the uh, latest data available in 2009. So this comes, this information comes from the Centers for Disease Control and we want to determine the linear regression line in the form A plus BX. Now one thing, to, one thing, thing to think about before we go any further here is I know you're used to in an, in an algebra class doing Y equals MX plus B where M is the slope of the, uh, of a line and B is the is the uh, y-intercept. We do things a little bit differently in statistics. First we put a little hat over y, meaning that's an estimate based on the linear regression model. And then we, we put it in this form here, where the second term has the coefficient of x, so b is the slope, a is the ordinate of the y-intercept. Alright? So let's see how we set up our calculator to uh, get this line. Remember, this is our goal now to, um, given a set of data, I've made a scatter plot of the data that you saw in that table, and we want to find the equation of best fit, the, this purple line here, all right? So we need two things, two pieces of information. We need the y-intercept, A, and we need the slope, B. So let's get at it with that. First, we have to set up our calculator to do this. So to do that, we'll just um, go ahead and hit mode and go to stat number two. And then we want to pick A plus BX, our linear regression equation, all right? And then we want to go ahead and enter our data. Now, um, uh, I'll go ahead and th get things started here. Put zero here because uh, the um, X represents the number of years since 1990 and then five and 10 and I'll go ahead and pause for a minute and enter the rest of this data so you don't have to look and then we'll take things from there. Okay so here we are back and I put in the um, the data in two column form in our Casio calculator here and our next step then is to um, compute the y-intercept A so let me show you how to do that. The first thing we want to do is to get out of this editing screen so I'll hit all clear for that and then we have to get to our output screen for regression. So to do that we want to hit the shift key and then number one where it says stat right here. So we'll go ahead and hit that and then we're interested in linear regression. So this might look different on your calculator uh, but we want the one that says reg right there. Seven for me. And notice here we're given A and B that is the y-intercept and the slope for the regression line. R is the correlation coefficient. We talked about that uh, in a different video. So let's go ahead and hit number one for A. Go ahead and hit equals. So there, there's our y-intercept, 296.583 rounded to three decimal places. So we hit reg, we, choose, we chose one for A, and then there is our y-intercept, the A part of the linear regression equation. And then we want to go ahead and find the slope of it now. Now let's think for a minute. We saw the line going downhill because the number of TSS cases were decreasing over time. So we would expect the slope to be a negative number, wouldn't we? So let's go ahead and find out. We'll go ahead and hit all clear again and then hit shift and number one to get the stat output menu and then number seven for regression and then we'll hit number two for B. So there it is right there, just as we expected. The slope is negative, negative 12.367, again, rounded to three decimal places by convention. All right, so we hit AC, got the stat menu, we hit B, that give, and that gave us the slope 
of the regression line. So let's go ahead and write the regression line out. There it is right there. Y hat, meaning uh, an estimate for Y is 296.583 minus 12.367X. All right? Now let's do one more thing. Let's use our model to make an estimate of the number of cases in 2008. In other words, according to the model, how many cases were there in 2008? Let's, so let's take a look at that. So let's see here. X represents the number of years since 1990. So we want to find Y, Y hat there, when X is 18, right? That would, that would correspond to 2008. So let me show you how to do that. Now we'll go ahead and hit all clear again. Go to shift and then go to stat. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let me start again. We have to put in our X value first. Pardon me on that. So I'll go ahead and put in 18. And then we want to hit shift and number one for stat, number seven for regression, and then notice here we have Y hat here, option five. I'll go ahead and hit five, and then go ahead and it equals. So there we go. According to the model, it looks like there were about, what, 74,000 cases in 2008. That's according to the model. The actual number was uh, 71,000 cases, so we see exactly the concept of a line of best fit here. All right, so the number was very close to our uh, uh, actual value uh, just from using the estimate. So that's how we can, com can determine the um, linear regression equation using the Casio FX300ES scientific calculator.